What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Unhinged Talk. As usual, I'm your host, Patrick Hansen. Joined tonight by the legend, Brian DeGenero, back on camera. How are we doing tonight, Brian? Fantastic, as always. What's going on, Pat? We got some Yankees news, but before we touch on that, before we touch on that, everyone be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Turn on those post not- notifications, too. It helps us out a bunch. I really appreciate everyone that has supported the channel thus far. We're only going to be producing more content, so stay tuned for that. But... Justin Wilson is back with the Yankees. Uh, news did come out today. Signed him to a one-year deal, I believe. Uh, the money isn't currently out, but I'm assuming it's probably around like $4 million. I think that's a fair number that we could say. Uh, listen, I think that this is a solid move, to be honest. Uh, there's nothing really bad about it. I would have preferred a guy like Trevor Rosenthal, but I'm assuming uh, he, he was uh, demanding more money. But Justin Wilson is a solid option. He was with the Yankees in 2015. Uh, he was... He had a 3-1 three, three, ERA, and ever since leaving, he's been pretty solid. Uh, he split time between the Tigers, Cubs, Mets. Past two seasons, he was with the Mets. He had a 2-5-4 ERA in uh, 2019, 3-6-6 last year. He's a lefty. Uh, he throws pretty hard. The only knock on Justin Wilson is that he has a little bit of a control issue. He gives up a decent amount of walks. But, Brian, what, what are your uh, immediate thoughts on, on the signing? Yeah, man, I, I like the signing. I think it's a nice quality, uh, you know, Good money signing, probably. Probably assuming that they got him for yep. like three, four million. Um, I think it's a great. I think it's a great signing. I I like his stuff. He throws, a, I believe, a four seam and a cutter, um, which is a nice complement to one another. Um, like you said, he has control issues, which worries me a little bit, just because he's basically replacing Adam Adovino, who also had lots of control issues. Um, but it is nice to have another lefty in the bullpen, um, along with Chapman and Britton. Um, to have in, in those middle innings, which will be good. Yes. Um, yeah, I like his stuff. He he gets a lot of weak contact, which is nice, um, especially in Yankee Stadium. Uh, so he's not the kind of guy that gets a lot of swing and misses, but you know, weak contact is solid. Um, we like that. We like that stuff. Um, we, I like his cutter, man. His cutter can be nasty. It has a lot yeah. of movement when it's on. So I'm excited to see what, it, what he's got. Yeah, I think the key with Wilson is actually something that you previously mentioned, and it's the fact that now we have a left-hander for the middle innings. Uh, You look at Chapman and Britton, they're the two left-handers who are currently in the bullpen prior to Wilson, and Chapman's the closer, and Britton is technically your eighth-inning guy. So prior to that, you don't really have a lefty to throw in in the middle of the game. I know with the three-batter rule, it kind of diminishes the value of just having a left-handed. But uh, say that, but Wilson throws a cutter, which is – very effective against righties. So that's exactly what I was saying. I mean, he could awesome. get lefties and righties out, so it doesn't yeah. really matter. But exactly. yeah, I think that this is a, a move that the Yankees kind of need to make. And I'm happy that it finally got done. We we first heard rumblings on Sunday that the Yankees were close to a deal with Wilson, waited all day, still didn't have official confirmation, kind of waited all day on, on Monday as well. Uh, and then we finally got confirmation later on in the night. Uh, and I, I think this kind of is wrapping up the Yankees offseason. We heard a couple weeks ago that they did want to make one more move for a relief pitcher. Honestly, Justin Wilson wasn't the first guy I thought of. I thought the immediate guy would probably be Trevor Rosenthal. Second uh, tier would probably be like David Robertson. But I'm not complaining about Wilson whatsoever. I think he's going to be an awesome addition to the bullpen. But looking at the bullpen now, we're, we, we are going to go more in depth about the bullpen in, in a future episode. But I do kind of want to touch on it a little bit now. I think that it's shaped up pretty damn well. Um, in the beginning of the offseason, looking at the bullpen, it was very shaky. I was not uh, confident in it whatsoever. But uh, what the Yankees essentially did was trade Adam Adovino, and in return, you signed Darren O'Day and signed Justin Wilson. I think that that was an ideal situation to approve the bullpen. What do you think? Yeah, I agree. Getting two quality arms to replace a guy who really was awful last year. Um, <laughs> no offense to Adovino because I, I really liked the signing when they first signed him, but it, it just it didn't work out. Um, so yeah, I'm definitely excited to see what these guys can do. It's, it's nice to have a little bit of depth in there as well, since we lost Kainley. Um, so it's, it should be, you know, good. Yeah. But you know, you know, what else is nice about acquiring Darren O'Day and Justin Wilson, you have some veteran arms there. Um, while I do, I am confident in these young guys like, uh, Nick Nelson and Jonathan Loisaga, even Brooks Krisky. Um, it's difficult to rely on these guys in postseason situations. Yeah. If we're talking about a tight postseason game and we have an option of throwing Nick Nelson or Darren O'Day out there, mm-hmm. I think I might go with Darren O'Day just based on the veteran experience. Mm-hmm. And while that can obviously change if Nick Nelson has a crazy year this season, 
But Mm -hmm. going into a a series against like the Tampa Bay Rays, for example, when they have eight guys who they could just throw out there with confidence out of the Mm -hmm. bullpen, it feels kind of good to now have multiple guys out of our bullpen that we could throw out there confidently and say that we trust them in big situations. Yes, agreed. It it seems like the approach that the Yankees have had the last few years is just get guys with tons and tons of talent to put in the bullpen and just throw them out there. So you got guys like Loisaga, Sessa, who throw really hard, really good pitches, but in, in, in tough situations, they're not the clutch guy to come through. Whereas you kind of need that veteran leadership, you know, the quality that these guys might have. So I think it's, I think it's great for the bullpen. I think it's great. Yeah, I, I think the bottom line here, um, as long as the Yankees, as long as news doesn't come out that the Yankees gave Justin Wilson one year, fifteen million, <laughs> I think that this is a solid ass deal. Wait, uh, would would you take Justin Wilson one year for fifteen million over Brett Gardner for one year, one million? No, I don't think I would. I don't think I would. Really? Just, I mean, Brett that's Gardner news, one guys. year, one million. That's, that's news. That's news. You guys can clip that. Save it for future. Patrick Hennessy wants him to resign Brett Gardner. <laughs> I should. That's Put what I now. should title this video. Put now. But uh, yeah, that is going to wrap things up for us today. I uh, appreciate everyone for stopping by. I think Justin Wilson is going to be an awesome addition for the Yankees this season. Good move. Uh, everyone, once again, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. We do go live every night at 9 p.m. on the YouTube channel. So be sure to turn on those post notifications so you know when we go live. We also have daily content posting on this YouTube channel every day at 12 p.m. Eastern time. Stay tuned for that. Producing content all spring training, all the rest of the offseason, all regular season. We appreciate you all. Stay happy, stay healthy, stay safe. Peace.